I'm DJ Alex Brown and welcome to today's video. In today's video, if you could not already tell from the title, we will be talking about BeatSource Link. I will start the video by saying that BeatSource Link is definitely different from basically the rest of the DJ pool industry. BeatSource, you can buy individual songs. They usually have uh, various edits of the songs and now BeatSource recently came out with BeatSource Link which allows you to stream music for DJs specifically. You have the proper rights to be DJing with the tracks using the streaming service. In many facets it works very similar to Spotify or Apple Music or something like that and there's some really big benefits with that. Now to do a fair and accurate review of BeatSource Link I'm going to use five criteria to take a look at it and the first one is price Price. Second one will be extra features. The third one is going to be the mobile app. The fourth is going to be organization and search capabilities. And the fifth is probably the most important for DJs and that one will be music content. Let's get right into the first one which is price. The first thing about BeatSource Link that majorly impressed me was the pricing model because they price it so that it fits basically anybody's budget. A lot of DJ subscriptions come in around the $20 to $30 a month range. BeatSource specifically has a $10 a month, a $20 a month, and a $30 a month range. So it's really easy to understand. Each one of those has slightly different inclusions, but here's what they all include. First of all, they all include access to BeatSource playlists. So there are BeatSource Link playlists that are made to help you learn how to mix. You can go on and make your own playlists and share them with everyone, similar to how you can on like Apple Music or Spotify or something. And that is totally accessible no matter if you're paying $10 or if you're paying $30 a month. You also have the ability to preview full tracks and play them within DJ softwares like Serato across all levels of subscriptions. So, where some of the key differences come in is with the downloads or what BeatSource Link calls offline tracks. At the $10 a month tier, you get zero offline tracks. Basically, you're only going to be streaming. At the $20 a month tier, you're going to get 50 offline tracks. At the $30 a month tier, you're going to get 100 offline tracks. I have been in communication with the Vice President of Marketing at BeatSource Link, and he has confirmed to me that BeatSource Link does plan to open up those amounts of downloads as the service progresses. And all these subscriptions are completely month to month, and they have a 30 day free trial. I'll be leaving a link to the 30 day free trial in the description, so please go make sure to check that out. If you get one single thing out of this video, I would want it to be a 30 day free trial because it's certainly worth it at least just to try it out. So within the pricing, I did talk a little bit about extra features, but basically the primary extra features are that they have playlists and they're pretty well organized. Now, before we get into talking about a mobile app, I need to let you know of one thing about why certain things can't be done with BeatSource Link. Offline tracks can't be saved after you end your subscription. The reason for that is because BeatSource Link is working directly with record labels to make sure that they have content and they're working directly with record labels to expand the amount of content that they have. On the other hand, most DJ pools fall into what's called a legal gray area as far as copyright protections and such goes because they get their music for promotional purposes and that's why most of them don't have back catalog and record labels like Sony can go on and say to BPM Supreme that they basically need to pull certain songs or certain content that came from the Sony record label off of the site. So if you see songs like Travis Scott that are missing, that's why. Enough legal talk, let's get on to talking about a mobile app. So. At the current time, BeatSource Link does not have a mobile app. However, I can assure you that they are working on one that will be able to have full access to the BeatSource Link uh, libraries, playlists, all stuff like that. Now I'd like to talk about their website for a minute because their website is very mobile friendly, it's very responsive, so if you did need to use your phone as a backup at some point, more than likely you can do it off of the website. And the other key thing about BeatSource Link is, and I'm gonna compare to BPM Supreme here, is I personally use the BPM Supreme app as sort of a backup. So if I don't have a track downloaded but somebody wants it played, then I'll play it off of the BPM Supreme app. In the case of BeatSource, yes, you can do that. However, if you're already streaming music 
on your laptop within Serato or something, then you can simply just stream that song straight out of Serato instead of needing to do it from your phone. Now let's talk about organization and search. All their music library is separated into a few main categories. So they are relatively organized and it's relatively easy to find things when you're searching, unless they don't have the track. Because similar to DMS, by the way, check out my DMS review over here. When you search for a song that they don't have, you can get a really large list of other songs that you might be pouring over trying to look for the song. So basically, if they have the song that you're looking for and you have specific enough keywords, then you're probably going to find it right at the top or close to the top of the search results. If they don't have it, you're probably not going to find it and you might type in a couple of searches and try and find it and you'll probably figure out pretty quickly that they don't have it. As we move into talking about music content specifically, as I already mentioned earlier, BeatSource Link has a slightly different model than DJ Pools, which first of all allows them to have back catalog, uh, but it can also cause some other issues when we talk about music content. So the first thing is really old songs that no DJ Pool would ever have, like Frank Sinatra, can be a little bit hard to find if they're not super mainstream they're gonna be working on expanding that library. If you're looking for something from the 80s, you're probably gonna find it. Right now, I'm gonna look for It's Tricky, and as you can see right here, I find it no problem. So for the DJs that have been asking on many of my other videos about back catalog and where to get it, BeatSource is probably your place. And if you only wanna stream the back catalog, then $10 a month and get the extra back catalog that you need. Now, an additional issue with sort of their business model and the fact that there are subscriptions similar to Spotify and Apple Music and things is that it's much harder for them to publish tracks with intro edits. So on something like DJ City or BPM Supreme, you'll see pretty much every track has an intro edit, a clean edit, a dirty edit, an instrumental. Not every track has that on BeatSource Link. So they are in the works, they're working on having this. It's just a bit of a legal process with the record labels and making sure that everything is worked out legally because like I said, they're not sitting in a legal gray area. They're legal, but that also means that they need to be careful about what they do. One positive thing about the music catalog though is that if you're gonna find it on Spotify, you're probably gonna find it on BeatSource. So even the stuff that's newer but not quite mainstream that you wouldn't find on BPM Supreme or another pool like that, you're probably gonna find on BeatSource Link. One key last little note that I wanted to mention to you is a huge benefit of BeatSource Link is that, especially for wedding DJs or Sweet 16 DJs or whatever, uh, if your client sends you a Spotify playlist or an Apple Music playlist, you can actually use this site called Tune My Music to convert their playlist into BeatSource Link and it will notify you if there are any problems finding tracks, but you can convert that whole playlist and then simply have it into your DJ software within a couple of minutes instead of having to pour through and find songs within your library. So it can save you a lot of time if that's something that you do a lot. One additional thing to mention is that right now you cannot store tracks offline within Serato DJ. It is something that the people at BeatSource Link are working to get integrated into Serato DJ is that offline locker as it's called. Right now, at the time of making this video, it is not available. They very, very recently released the support for Serato DJ and they're working on adding more different DJ softwares and adding that offline locker feature to DJ softwares. But currently, at the time of making this video, Serato is streaming only. So as far as music goes, you may know that there are different uh, qualities of music, we'll say. There are different bit rates which determine the quality. So all music that's on BeatSource is in the Apple audio file compression type. So it's AAC instead of MP3. Basically what that means is you can have a slightly smaller file usually with a higher fidelity of audio. Basically, my personal opinion on BeatSource Link is that in the next few years, it's gonna absolutely take over the DJ market. I think based on what I know about the legal area that DJ pools operate in, they're probably gonna be getting shut down and losing a lot of content over the next couple of years. And we're gonna see a big rise in the use of something like BeatSource Link. I would definitely encourage any DJs watching this video to 
click the link in the description and take advantage of the 30 day free trial. Give it a try. I think this is going to be a really excellent platform. I can already say that from my use, uh, I used it at a wedding that I did a couple of weeks ago. And one of the requests that I had got at the wedding, I looked it up on Apple Music and then said, hey, you know, let me see if this is on BeatSource Link. And I checked and it was, so I was able to play it from my controller and my laptop instead of having to plug my phone into the controller to play it. So that was really, really beneficial. So my personal opinion on BeatSource Link is give it a try. Uh, they're still a growing company. They still have to add some features, um, but it's definitely worth a trial. So make sure to check it out. That's gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a thumbs up, leave me a comment if you liked it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.